So, quick background of the concept of multiple optimal solution. Multiple optimal solution is associated with linear programming problems. The, multi the, multi the multiple optimal solution will arise in a linear program with more than one set of basic solution that can minimize or maximize the required object function. Sometimes the multiple optimal solutions are called the alternative basic solution. In case of an assignment problem, it's likely to have two or additional ways to remove an assured numbers of zero. This situation shows multiple optimal solutions with the identical optimal value of optimal objective function. Therefore, it can be said that the total cost or total profit will remain identical for, the, for, for different sets of all allocation in an assignment problem. In case of simplex method, the presence of multiple optimal solutions is specified by a condition under which a non-basic variable in the last simplex table display the optimal solution in the problem and the amount of contribution is zero. The decision creator will use the most suitable set of the basic solution as the solution of the linear program when the problem has multiple optimal solution. So this is so for, for an example on what multiple optimal solution is. This is our problem, and to solve it using multiple optimal solution, right, it's it's just a case. So we do it basically the same as how we solve it using simplex method. So in maximization z, so we turn that into a negative five x minus ten y plus z equals zero. We turn it to zero, and then this constraints will be the same. Where we will we'll just add its stack, stack or surplus variable, so x plus 2y plus s1 equals 120, x plus y minus s2 equals 60, x minus 2y minus s3 equals 0. So this will be the basis on how we will solve it using simplex method. So we will, we will make a table. With using these variables, so S1, S2, S3, Z. So for X, we have 1, 1, and then 1, and then negative 5, negative 10, hey, 2, 2, 1, negative 2, and negative 10, uh, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 negative 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and then for the constants, this would be 120, 60, 0, and then 0. So, no. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to get the first pivot. At f first, we should uh, see or determine the pivot by looking at the most negative value at the bottom part, which is negative 10. This now becomes the this this now becomes the pivot column. And now we will determine the we will look at the ratio and we will get the least amount of ratio. So 120 divided by 2 is 60 and 60 divided by 1 is 60. So since both of them have the same ratio, we can we can uh, use any of them. So I will choose to use 1 because you, you need to make it, uh, the pivot should be equal to 1. But if you choose 2, then you would divide the whole column, uh, the whole row by 1 half. Multiply by 1 half or divide by 2. So, uh, so, yeah. For the next step, we should make this, this, and this digits equals to zero. In doing that, first we must add row one, I subtract row one by two times the row two. Row two will be at row three will be added by two times row two. Row two, and lastly, row four will be added by 10 times zero. Copy the second row. First, 
Row 1. So, row 1 is 1 minus 2 times the row so, 2. Yung record. Sagot. Huh? Row 1 minus 2 times row 2. 0. 0. Oh, wait. One. Joke. Oh, one. Zero. 1. Negative 1. 1 minus. Next is negative one. row negative 1. Negative, negative, one. One. negative, one. negative 1. Yes. Next is two zero. Zero. minus 2 times. 0. Yan. zero. zero. One. 1. 1 minus 2 times row 2. 0. Two. 1. I one. One. 1. 2. two. X is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 Zero. 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 Negative two. Negative two. Oh, Negative one. Negative one. Zero. 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 Negative 10. Negative 10. 0, 0. 0, 0. 1. 1. 1. 600. 600. 600. Could you go? Bigo. 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 So, if it is a multiple optimal solution, you can also get the next negative number from the first table which is negative 5 so this is the pivot column and in order to get the pivot we must get the ratio of the constraint in x so as you can see uh, the answer is row 2 uh, row 2 which is this one one. So it is already one. So to in order to get the X table, we must change these numbers one, one, and five, and negative five to zero. So in order to do so, uh, let me increase that. Uh, we must minus R one in R two and start in R one and. We must minus R3 in row 2, so in the story to R3. So in R4, we must plus 5 times R2 and start to row 4. So uh, the answer is. is Zero, one, 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 zero, 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 negative five. Thirty seconds. Zero, negative five. Zero. 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 With different points. With different points. Thank you. Thank That's you. all. That's multiple of the most